Hi guys. Well, with each passing minute, the sun trying to uh, come out here and turn this and rescue this day here. Where are we? Wednesday, September 16th, 2021. I have already gotten a couple of little rantlets off my chest. So now that I got those two out of the way, uh, let's talk about what I really came here to talk about. And that is a possible ray of hope here on the mainstream media. Anyone who acts like I am completely devoid of hopium, uh, we are going to find an eco-Nazi ray of hope in the uh, mainstream media. Before I get into this rant, though, I, once again, I want to uh, tip the we are so fucked hat to alert uh, tribes member Peter Lind. Now this was actually his comment over there on Collapse Chronicles about the, you know Sam Mitchell's version of uh, commentary on that dolphin slaughter over there. But this is certainly an excellent uh, preface to this rant that I'm getting ready to do about a ray of hope. Okay, take it away. Peter Lind <clears throat> to open up today's rant. <clears throat> the mother planet will breathe an immense sigh of relief. The instant, the last of our de desperate, despicable race has expired and dropped shamefully but deservedly into the cold, devouring mud. Our discarded rubbish will rattle around and float about for a little while before eventually getting pulverized, melted, and swallowed into the subduction zones of rejuvenation. After a time of well-deserved and necessary convalescence, there will be no traces left that we ever existed. Only the lingering screams of the tormented planet will remain, if only to pursue and harass our ghosts, ensuring that not a one of us will get to rest in peace. We, as a despotic and despoiling species, deserve nothing less than an eternity of suffering and damnation. May the dolphins and every other wronged creature dance upon our graves. Amen. Uh, you go, brother Peter Land, summing it up. So anyway, that will be the preamble uh, to today's rant about a, a, a ray of hope. So of course, uh, you've probably seen here in the Corona panic news of the day, uh, we, ha we have a new statistic. I guess we have crossed a new statistic that one in 500 Americans have died of corona panic. So let's see, so that makes 0.2% of Americans have now supposedly died of corona panic, which is another way of saying that after a year and a half, 99.8% of Americans have not died of corona panic. Meanwhile, uh, you know, as 99 0.8% of Americans have not died of corona panic. Uh, what is it? The 10 richest billionaires on the planet have put $500 billion in their collective pockets, taking full advantage of this bad hair day. But apparently, you know, more and more people are starting to figure out that Hambo Little Dow. I uh, was right from day one <clears throat> that this is a bad hair day and uh, that the corona panic is just one more wolf uh, outside of the cave door that we're going to have to figure out how to live with.
And uh, I'm not even going to start breaking down uh, the, the, the percentages and the stats on the 0.2% of Americans uh, who have died of this. It, it's a bunch of old, fat, sick people uh, make up 99% uh, uh, of, of these figures. You know, so anyway, <coughs> the mainstream media... <coughs> which of course is the mouthpiece of the 10 <coughs> richest billionaires on the planet. The, uh, the, you know, the jar shakers shaking up the bug, the bu us bugs in a jar have got to keep us fighting. They've got to keep us divided and conquered by stirring up all of this fear mongering. So, uh, this is the mainstream media as well. First, they tried this one to get us bugs in a jar uh, fighting. Let's see. From the fear mongering. <clears throat> All right. Health officials raise the alarm. <coughs> raise the alarm about a mosquito borne virus causing paralysis meningitis and death ah! in at least six states dun 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 at least six states have reported deaths due to West Nile virus a mosquito borne illness that can cause paralysis and swelling of the brain. Oh. <coughs> Arizona, Arkansas, California, Idaho, New Jersey, and the great state of Texas have each reported, have each reported one or two deaths associated with, Nile, with West Nile virus this year, comprising nine deaths total uh, through September 7th, according to the CDC. Nine people. <clears throat> yes. All but seven continental U.S. states have reported some form of West Nile virus activity, which could mean infection in mosquitoes, animals, or humans. Yes, 29 states have seen confirmed or probable human cases with symptoms. Yes. Anyway, guys, nine people. So uh, nine people out of 334 million. Now, I have to admit, I actually know somebody who died of this. Uh, died of West Nile. Well, it's uh, my buddy's father died of West Nile virus a couple years ago at the age of 94. 94! Ah, Russell's, uh, Russell's daddy was taken down by West Nile virus, uh, yeah, at age 94. I don't know how many of the, uh, the nine people uh, who have died of West Nile virus uh, in, the, in a country of 330 million people were 94 or not, but my guess is probably all of them. But anyway, so no hope there. You know, I got a little bit of hope, uh, hopium, you know, from that. Uh, headline, but obviously uh, no hope for the eco-Nazi uh, with the corona panic statistics or the West Nile, but anybody acting like we have no hopium. All right, finally, finally, uh, this is from Good Morning, and it is a good morning, uh, here every minute this morning is more and more beautiful as we get to hallelujah. Experts say the NIPAH, N-I-P-A-H, 
experts say NIPA virus has potential to be another, well, I would say a real pandemic with a higher death toll, with a higher death toll than 0.2%. All right, let's get this Save the Planet virus in action. Can the NIPA virus uh, wipe out the single biggest virus on the planet known as humans? All right. <clears throat> Earlier this month, a 12-year-old boy in Kerala's Koshikod district in India died from the NIPA virus. All right, we already have a 12-year-old Indian boy. So there you go. A 12-year-old Indian boy, you know, this corona panic shit, taking out all of these people who have already bred. Uh, here we go, okay. This is one 12-year-old boy who will never have a baby. <clears throat> Earlier this month, a 12-year-old boy in India died from the NIPA virus a virus that most people have probably never heard of. A virus that, according to experts, has the potential to become another, you know, since the plague several hundred years ago, that I guess is what they're talking about, uh, become another global pandemic with a significantly higher death toll than 0.2%. Okay, approximately 70%. <laughs> All right, approximately 70% of people who are infected with the NIPA virus die. All right, says Dr. Stephen Luby, a professor of infectious diseases at Stanford University. Yes, when the virus first appeared in Malaysia, in 1999, it killed more than 100 of the approximately 300 people that had been infected. That doesn't sound like 70% to me. That sounds like 30%, but at least 30%, even 30% is what, uh, five or 500, how many more times? Uh, more hopium in 30% than with corona panic. I <clears throat> here's some all right. When it emerged in Kerala in 2018, <clears throat> only two of the 19 people who contracted NIPA survived. 17 out of 19 people. Uh, all right. Often, even survivors are left to suffer. Well, that's not, uh, you know, I'm not into, uh, I, you know, let's go ahead. No one should have to suffer. Uh, they, they should just, you know, go to bed and not wake up. Uh, for these reasons and others, the World Health Organization declared NIPA a virus of concern or a virus of hope. Yes, and experts are urging more research and attention. Okay, so where did NIPA virus come from? I think we've heard this one before. Similar to the corona panic, NIPA is a zoonotic virus, which means it can spread between animals and people. Generally, Transmission happens when a person consumes contaminated food or comes into direct contact with an infected animal. Fruit bats. God damn it! Fruit bats are the natural carriers of NIPA. Yes. Once NIPA spreads from an animal to a person, that person can go on to infect other humans. So what we need to do is we need more fruit bats. Uh, we need to uh, spread fruit bats around the planet. 
though it's still uncertain, experts believe contaminated food caused this current outbreak. One plausible theory is that those who have been infected ate food contaminated with bat saliva or bat shit. There you go. Uh, ate food contaminated with bat saliva or bat shit. This, this is a real bat shit uh, virus here. Yes. Um, all right. Man, you know, they keep going back and forth. They give us some hope, and then they take it away, and then they give us some. Uh, so, you know, I was getting all excited, then God damn it, NIPA is not easily transmissible. Shit. Dot, dot, dot. Yet. Yet. Come on. You, you, you build me up and you let me down. You build me up and you let me down. Okay. The good news, or the bad news, depending on your point of view about what the real virus is on this planet, <clears throat> the bad news is that NIPA virus is not very transmissible. Shit. Uh, the average transmission rate is less than one person, is less than one person per infection. What? The average transmission rate is less than one person per infection. Uh. However, that bad news might only might be temporary. See, here they now they're getting my hopes up again. Uh, Luby noted that quote: "Each time a person is infected, the virus is in an environment that selects for." human adaptation and transmissibility. Uh, uh, the good news is that a new strain that is more efficiently transmitted person to person could generate a devastating outbreak. I mean, you know, devastating uh, if you're a human eating, uh, eating bat shit. Yes. Alright, more good, okay, there is more good news. Fortunately, we don't yet have a cure or a vaccine for the NIPA virus. Yes, uh, and then they let us down again and say they're working on it. God damn it, uh, already working on a vaccine for NIPA virus. Uh, let's see how long you heard it first here on uh, Humpty Dumpty Drive. How long before all of the fucking panic sheeple uh, are lining up to get vaccines when it might be easier just to not eat bat shit? Alright. Uh, Alright, so it starts out like so many of these others, you don't even know that you're sick, but after a couple of weeks, an infected person can expect sore throat, cough, and respiratory issues. Soon thereafter, their symptoms turn severe. NIPA can cause swelling in the brain cells, which leads to drowsiness confusion, and potentially coma, and death. Yes. Uh, okay, if NIPA goes global, dun, 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 dun. If NIPA goes global, finally, once again, we have a ray of hope 
the NIPA virus is seemingly currently under control. God damn it! But experts warn we can't let down our guard. Yes, as long as there's a lot we don't know, the possibility of an epidemic cannot be ruled out. Yes, so, uh, so what is the CDC telling any, telling you to do if you do not want to, uh, get the NIPA virus? Prevention is the key. The CDC encourages anyone who lives in an area where NIPA outbreaks have occurred to practice good hand hygiene. Where have we heard this? How about avoid sick bats? There you go. Uh, thank you, CDC. Avoid sick bats and avoid anywhere where bats roost. Okay. Avoid consuming raw date palm syrup. Avoid consuming fruits potentially contaminated by bats. Yes, okay. So what does the World Health Organization, uh, what do they say how to keep from getting an hypovirus? The World Health Organization urges anyone consuming fruit or fruit products, namely date palm juice, to wash the dates thoroughly and peel the fruit before consuming it. Yes. Also, discard any fruits with signs of bat bites. Yes, if you suspect your fruit has been bitten by a bat. Yes. Right now, uh, NIPA has only been identified in Malaysia Bangladesh and India, but as our world shrinks due to international travel and trade and as climate change forces bats <coughs> into new habitats, <coughs> that could change. Once again, getting my hopes up. Okay, you, you go international travel and trade and climate change. Yes. Okay, this is uh, Visna Dong, Visna Dong, head of virology uh, at some place in Cambodia. <clears throat> Quote, we see fruit bats here in Cambodia and in Thailand, in markets, worship areas, schools, and tourist locations like Angkor Wat. There's a big bat roost there. In a normal year, Anger Watt hosts 2.6 million visitors. That is 2.6 million opportunities for NIPA virus to jump from bats to humans annually in just one location. Hallelujah. Let's all head to Angor Watt, uh, where we have 2.6 million opportunities to save the planet. From there, it's not hard to imagine just one of those 2.6 million opportunities. You know, I love, I very rarely get to use the word opportunity here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe. From there, it's not hard to imagine just one, just Fucking one of those 2.6 million opportunities hopping on an international flight and leading to another real global pandemic. One that is a lot deadlier and a lot harder to treat than the corona panic. All right, so do not let it be said that I am bereft of hope.
here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, we have 2.6 million opportunities to get this fucking planet saving show on the road in Angkor Wat. Uh, so, uh, can we do it? It takes one opportunity for some bat shit to get on a plane from Angkor Wat. Anyway, so look how the sun came out. Just reading that story, just reading that story, the sun came out and uh, it's all coming up flowers here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I actually hear some buzzing. No, it's another bumblebee. The bumblebees are fine at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. I have yet to see a honeybee in the year uh, 2021, not a single honeybee sighting. It's all bumblebees, but uh, long live the bumblebees. Maybe they will uh, survive us. Get out there and enjoy a batshit pizza. Wow, you still can. Bye, guys.